I mean, just look around you, right? At this conference, I mean, I think uh, it was Dr. Cassidy who said that ESC is like a science festival. And I feel like, uh, you know, as the in-person meetings, both ACC and ESC have, uh, you know, returned, we have seen the science festival continue. What excites me is, um, you know, how much uh, precision medicine we have achieved, not only with diagnostics, all, but also with therapeutic options. Um, yesterday, there were several trials with SGLT2 inhibitors um, that were, you know, shown to be positive. So I'm really excited about, you know, increasing options of guidelines directed medical therapy, whether it, whether it is in heart failure or whether it is for prevention. Um, you know, Inclisiran was just uh, approved by FDA. There are so many lipid uh, lowering medications we have. Uh, we can utilize advanced uh, imaging, uh, both CT, MRI, uh, you know, to detect now the disease with, uh, you know, a certain level of uh, precision. And I think that this is going to impact prevention in general in cardiology. And, you know, the science that is coming out is so strong. And that I think that's, that's what keeps me excited uh, to be in the field. And that's what keeps me going. I think I was a second year medical student where I was found to have inverted P waves, which is an EKG abnormality. And, uh, you know, I had to go to see a cardiologist back home in India uh, while being in medical school. And I was told that it was a normal uh, rhythm that can sometimes be detected in young patients. And that got me interested in cardiology. I read a physiology textbook, physiology, uh, you know, of cardiovascular disease textbook within two days, like a storybook. And uh, from there on, I was, for, you know, forever interested in cardiology. But I think as a diagnostician or an advanced imager, what excites me is that I'm that person in cardiology subspecialty who puts together the piece of puzzle. So there is never a dull moment. You know, you take patient's clinical presentation, you get all the diagnostics, you put it all together, you come up with a diagnosis, and then you have to choose the treatment, you know, based on what group that patient's, uh, you know, remains, whether it is the age or the sex or the comorbidities. So I think there is like never a dull moment if you combine all of this and uh, you know it's never boring and that's what keeps me going in cardiology and that's what excites me about cardiology.